continuing to build the battery racks. We're going to have to build probably three of these. Put them uh, around the engine in the back to hold our 12 12-volt 12 batteries, which is about 2,000 pounds. Now, this is the most difficult part because you know, this is all yeah. custom fabrication. And this is probably the most difficult part because, as you can see, we're having to make these from scratch and, you know, make the plans as we go along, see what fits, see what holds, see what doesn't. Here we are ready to cut our second battery rack. Um, we have our exact length needed um, with PVC pipe. PVC makes a good prototype. This is prototype for our first uh, battery rack. Um, it's light, cheap, real, real easy to cut, and holds its shape. So we get exact measurements that we can transfer to the aluminum, which is a bit harder to cut. the finished product for the battery racks. These are going behind the uh, driver and passenger seats. Nick, pick up that one. That one goes in the rear compartment. This is the big one we have for the rear compartment. Alright, pull it. Make sure it feeds to it. I've got to be flexible for this. Take that on and pull it back through. Mm -hmm. Good idea. All right, she's jacked up. Turns free. Okay. All right. Um, which is a positive battery terminal? B plus. This. Okay. <clears throat> make sure. Make sure that you're on the. Uh, yeah. The correct voltage over there, yep. 1,000 volts? 1,000. All right. What's the max amperage? A lot. On this one? Yeah. Careful. Is it on? No, this switch is through. There's not a complete circuit. All right. All right. Stand back. Stand back. All right. B minus and what? Well, let's check. Read over the thing again. Test one. Check voltage of controller B minus and battery B plus terminals. B minus. Yeah, there's the battery B plus. Do one that's 142. It's a little low. All right. It's okay. 142 volts. Right. Sure. Yep. 
Anything else? No. Well, uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, you hold the red one in. I mean, it didn't. I mean, I got a reading. Yeah, you got 100 and something volts. 100 151. 151 volts. Okay, we're good. All right, uh, what's part two? All right, if yes, it should read full voltage. If yes, check voltage at controller B negative and controller B positive. It should read 1 to 5 volts less than full battery charge. Yeah, we were one to the shoot pedal. Shoot the pedal. Let's see if it works. Do it. Keep going. Oh yeah, it's spinning. It's spinning. Yeah, it's spinning. Do it, Nick. Press it. Yep. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it harder. What do you think, man? Yeah! Oh. What do you Job well done. Oh. Man, that's a good feeling. Yeah. It's a good job. What do you think?